Welcome back to Summer Money. Well, one of Australia's oldest companies was on the verge of collapse a couple of years ago, but since new management was put in place at Stokes, the company has undergone a big turnaround. We're joined by, now by CEO Con Screeners to find out just how it's being done. He's in our Melbourne studio. Con, thanks so much for your time today. Can you just talk us through Stokes and tell us a bit about your company? Yes, uh, thank you. Um, well, Stokes was established in 1856. Uh, it's a 157-year-old company that's been in the manufacturing game for all of that time. And over the past 20-odd uh, years, it's focused on appliance parts and uh, electric element manufacturing. Um, and in more recent times, uh, it's, it's struggled uh, under that uh, manufacturing uh, regime and uh, for, it was losing money for probably the last seven or eight years uh, and uh, on, on the verge of collapse when we got hold of it uh, in October of 2012. Alright, and since then it's been through a big turnaround. Can you talk us through what this turnaround entailed? Yes, well we went in and, and had to review every part of the business. Um, we, we put together a restructuring plan which involved uh, redundancies uh, across the board to get the staff levels back to, to where they should have been. We consolidated our, our operations and warehouses. We had to bring the business uh, up to up to speed on the on the uh, IT side. That the, their IT systems were, were archaic. Uh, new websites, new operating systems. Uh, we've injected uh, uh, new personnel, new management to, to invigorate the, the team. Um, and uh, you know we've gone to, to bring the core core levels of business back to where they were a few years ago. And we've had a, had a good time doing that over the last 12 months and along the way we've added new revenue streams uh, that were not existent before we got there. No doubt you're happy with the result but do you still have a bit of a way to go? Well you can never tell when the, when the restructuring is all you know really finished. Um, we, we set a target of 12 months and we've achieved everything that we wanted to do in that 12 months plus a bit extra. Uh, so we're you know in our view the restructuring period is now over um, and going into 2014, uh, we'll be looking at uh, you know, revenue growth and bottom line growth uh, through the re new revenue streams that we've added. So we, we think that you know, the restructuring is complete, but you can never tell you know, what, what comes out of the woodwork uh, along the way. All right, you've mentioned that you've made a few acquisitions over the past year. Can you talk us through what these are and why you made these? Yes, well, we started with buying out uh, two or three of the appliance parts uh, competitors of ours uh, in order to consolidate the industry a little bit. Um, and then along the way, we, we bought a service business um, about six months ago. So we now do uh, appliance uh, services as, as well as uh, supplying appliance parts. Um, and it's all about you know, increasing revenue share and consolidating and, and getting uh, back-end uh, numbers to, to be able to you know, justify uh, the staff levels that we have. And you know, we're in an industry where you know, it's a core industry, it's going to be there for a while, mm. but uh, you need to keep restructuring and keep invigorating it. So these acquisitions that we've done are about adding revenue and increasing uh, the, and diversifying revenue into, into different areas to build a stronger a base. Uh, being in manufacturing, is it a bit of a struggle with costs here in Australia? Look, I've been involved in manufacturing for you know, all of my working life. It's over 30 years and, and it, it's, it was a problem 30 years ago mm. and it's still a problem today. Um, so you need to keep finding ways of reinventing yourself when you're in manufacturing and you need to you know, concentrate on your strengths and, and your niche areas. So I believe you know, there is a, a life for manufacturing in Australia, but it's, you've got to be smart about how you go about it, not trying to compete you know, with, the, with effectively the cheap imports, but, but really specialise in your, your niche uh, area. And you've launched a new e-commerce website as well. How important is your online offering to you? Well, we're, we're really building the whole business around, around that. We have mm. to become more efficient about in delivering the, the service that we deliver. Um, and prior to us getting there, there was no e-commerce presence at all in the company. Um, so we've, we've put a lot of money and effort into, into putting that in place. And uh, we expect to see the benefits of that over the, over the next 12 and, and 18 months. And it's mainly aimed at uh, business to business uh, doing transactions uh, B2B uh, in order to make the, uh, the business more efficient. So any more acquisitions on the cards over the next couple of years or are you planning on more growing organically now? Uh, look, we'll do a bit of both. Um, you know, the industry that we're in still needs some more consolidation. So I expect we will do further acquisitions um, to, to, do, to achieve that. 
uh, we've got our, uh, our, our eye on, on a couple at the moment that we're, you know, we're, we're beavering away at, but at the same time, uh, we need to be able to grow the business organically, and uh, we've, we've had results of that over the last six months as well. So we're, we're pleased on, on both fronts. And obviously you've seen quite the appreciation in your share price. I think it was 18 cents, and now it's at 40 cents. That's about 122% rise over the past year. Do you expect there's much more upside? Um, well, we hope so. Uh, but, um, look, there's, a, there's been a bit of uh, um, forward thinking put into our price because the shareholders have backed uh, the new management to, to complete the turnaround and, and deliver the results. So we think the share price is sitting at a, at a spot where it probably should be at the moment. Um, and we need to do a bit more work, I suspect, to, to, to get it up to the next level. Um, but uh, we've got uh, things in the pipeline that we think we should, we'll, we'll deliver that over the next 12 to 18 months. All right, Con, thanks so much for your time here on Sky News Business. Thank you. Con Screen is there from Stokes, CEO of Stokes.